Good morning, afternoon, evening everyone and welcome back to the Genshin Impact character review series where we take a look at each character, review them and I give my opinions on them. Today's subject is Noel. Now some would say that Jeanlin should be first because you need to wish for Noel, where as in where with Jeanlin you just need to beat the abyss, uh, like beat floor 3, chamber 3 and you get her for free. Um, but I just wanted to take a look at Noel because she's a Geo character, also a Claymore character and I think that's you can say a bit more interesting than Jianling, but hey, Jianling is gonna be next, so, you know, next video is that. So, for now, we're gonna be taking a look at Noel, and uh, first impressions, let's say, before we head into the deep review. I don't know, I have mixed thoughts about Noel, and my, my general thought is that she's not that good. <laughs> but, again... That's not really a backed up opinion, so let's dive into Noelle's kit, and yeah, let's go. So starting off with her auto attacks, um, they're pretty normal, she's a Claymore character, so she does, uh, you know, her attacks are a bit slower than every other weapon type, and yeah, they're pretty, uh, you know, just normal, nothing, nothing special. Uh, she has like a 4 to 5 hit combo, so she's gonna like do some short circles. Uh, sort of like rotations of attacks, you can say. But yeah, nothing nothing really interesting. Charge attack is uh, this spinning, she starts spinning and then after a while, after consuming a certain amount of stamina, she will just stop the spinning and deal a, you know, just a one slice thing. And yeah, that's it. There is, you know, there's two categories of Claymore characters and charge attacks. Uh, ones that do like consecutive slashes and then the other ones that spin around and she is of the spinning around uh, category. So yeah, nothing special on uh, her other attacks. Then we have her skill, which is this shield. Uh, Noelle shields herself and the active character if you switch around. And this is a geo shield, so it has uh, better resistance. Uh, well, it has sort of like a medium resistance to physical and elemental uh, attacks, while other elemental shields are more focused on uh, th that specific element, pr protecting you against a specific element, rather than this geo shield, which is more everything. So that's nice. Um, the thing is that in Genshin Impact, unfortunately, every freaking single shield just falls so much behind Zhongli's shield that it's so sad, if I'm honest. Noelle's is fine, it's got really good scaling, but still, it just doesn't touch Zongli. But, hey, it, it's fine. Just that, it's fine. Um, the th thing that really boggles me with this skill is that they attached a healing effect on it. So, we talked about Barbara in the previous video, and we said that whenever her skill is active, uh, and she hits opponents, she heals the whole party. Well, Noelle can do that, but the thing is that it's chance-based. Why the fuck did they give her a chance to heal? It's so strange, and the healing isn't that good either. Because she's also a Claymore character, she attacks slowly. So she just cannot get as many attacks as someone like Barbara can do. So giving her a chance to heal reduces her healing even more. So it's so strange that they attach the healing element to it. Either just make her heal with attacks, or just don't have her heal at all. It's so strange. And then to get this chance to 100%, you need her first constellation, and even then the constellation wants you to have both her burst and her skill active at the same time in order to have a 100% chance to heal, so it's, so it's so strange and so unnecessary to have this element on the skill, so yeah, it's really strange. That, that's something that I really have to say about this skill, so yeah. It's okay, it's an okay shield, not as powerful as Zhongli, but nothing is as powerful as Zhongli's shield. And yeah, it's nothing special really, it's just a shield, deals a bit of damage when you activate it, um, but yeah, isn't, it's, it's not that much. Um, and then going to her ult, which in my notes I've said that it's, bo it's sort of like mind-boggling, where... It's a very selfish ult, so what, what does Noelle do when her, she activates her burst? She does this sort of slash, and then gives extra attack range to her weapon, and also infuses it with Geo. Now, uh, and also she increases her attack 
based on her death, so even more death scaling. But the thing is that this ult is so selfish. With the shield, you can make Noelle work as a support very nicely. But with this ability, with the burst, it's so... It's such a selfish burst, where it's just for Noelle, only for Noelle, doesn't benefit anyone else. And not only that, it it's a geo uh, attack, so she just cannot proc reactions. The only reaction she can uh, proc is uh, crystallize, and it's completely useless in terms of damage because it just gives shields, but Noel already has a shield. So yeah, like you can't even just support Noel. How exactly are you gonna support Noel uh, once she uses this ability? The only thing you can do is like use a Mona ultimate, perhaps. Uh, just raw damage increases, like, other elements won't help at all. And <clears throat> that's why it feels so boggling to me, that Noel feels so feels like a support character at first, you know, a protective character to your party, and then she has this ult which just completely, like, throws off the balance and makes her just a solo damage dealer. It's so... It's, it's strange, seriously. And <clears throat> not only that, uh, I mentioned that she is a death scaler, so she scales with uh, death. Now, the problem is that in this game, in Genshin Impact, death is completely useless. I don't know what to say, but no matter how much death I see my characters having, I never see damage being reduced. I, I, like, having elemental resistance and uh, physical resistance in the game uh, works fine, and then they added the death stat, and, like, these two just cannot really work together. Because, again, I just never see death actually working to reduce damage against the uh, opponents, especially high-level opponents, uh, you know, so I, I don't know, I think the death stat could have been completely re removed and have the resistances only available. Because, if I'm honest, actually increasing your resistances to elements and your physical resistance seems to actually work compared to death. So, I, I don't understand exactly how death works. And again, I've, I've had, I have characters that have high death numbers, yet I don't see them, I don't see enemies dealing less damage to those characters. It, it feels exactly the same as other characters that have little to no death. So yeah, that's the problem with Noelle, is that she scales with death, but death is, death is such a bad stat that it doesn't help her. And compared to someone like Zhongli, who scales off of HP, HP can help you tank. It is It does help you stay alive compared to, again, death. So yeah, and uh, another like note about her ultimate is something that, of course, every single person will mention, is that if you want Noel to actually work, you need C6. And C6, and again, in this series, we do not count constellations uh, for characters for their power level in order to measure how good a character is. We do not uh, count constellations, and especially the sixth constellation, because it's so random if you're gonna get constellations on the character. And if you're not, even if the character is featured in a banner. So yeah, like, I'm sorry, but I, I just cannot actually, like, count Noel as being a good uh, character based on that constellation. Not at all. And yeah, like, you sort of actually need that constellation if you want to deal damage with her ultimate. So yeah, I mean, it's... Uh, why did they have to give her a death scaling? And yeah, and even worse, we move on to artifacts, and there just isn't any artifact sets that increase death. There is no like 20% death artifact that is 5 star, so the only artifact set that you can actually use is the Retracting Bolide set. Um, it's two piece, increases your sealed strength, so that helps with making Noel more making uh, the shield when it's active on Noel because shield strength doesn't actually mean you boost a the strength of your shields. 
it means that the character protected by a shield, if they have a shield strength bonus, um, you know, then they get the bonus. Like, it, it doesn't, like, carry on to other party members, which is really dumb. Just really dumb. A, a really stupid mechanic to not move, to not have shield strength correspond to actually making a shield stronger throughout the whole party. And um, the four piece set of the retracting Bolite set is that um, whenever a character is protected by a shield, their um, uh, normal attacks and charge attacks deal extra damage, which is nice and fits Noel, I guess. But yeah, like it's the only artifact that you're gonna you you can use because other artifact sets don't help her at all. There is the archaic set. But the only useful part of the archaic set, archaic set is the two-piece bonus, which is a geo damage bonus, you know. But then the thing is, what else are you gonna find to combo with that two-piece archaic? If you go for a two-piece uh, bolide set, it's not really helping you. You should. It's better uh, damage to go for a four-piece retra retracting bolide compared to a two-piece archaic and two-piece retracting bolide. The geo damage bonus just isn't that much. Uh, better than the four piece Bolide uh, set. So, yeah, like, th there just aren't many options. Only Bolide is the the artifact set you can go for. Um, also, of course, the your Sands needs to be a Death. Death Sands, do remember that. Uh, Geo damage bonus on the Goblet, and then, like, I guess crit rate, crit damage on the, on the Circlet. And. For that crit damage, crit rate signal that I mentioned, the only weapon you can use on Noel actually is White Blind. It's a weapon, it's a claymore that you can craft, so it's free to play, you can say. And it's the only weapon you can use because without a death percent weapon, you cannot reach a good number on your uh, defense that will actually make shield, your shield, Noel's shield, and her damage from her ultimate actually good. I did some calculations, and you 100% need a level 80 Noel, a full 90 level White Blind, and a, and a, a Death Sands to actually reach a good number, a good enough number for her shield and her damage from her ultimate. And even then, without that C6, that ultimate isn't dealing that much damage. You're not getting that much extra attack. You know, with, with this combination, you're around 1,500... Uh, 1,500 death, so you can tank around like 5,000 damage, and in something like the Abyss, that's not that much, but I think uh, because the Geo Shield itself has some extra resistances, it does help make the shield more tanky, but again, you need to invest a lot into making that shield uh, strong. And, uh, and again, her ultimate just isn't gonna deal that much damage. You get you know, White Blind gives you 500 attack. Noel has abysmal, abysmal uh, base attack. She has like 150 base attack on level 80. So you're like, at, uh, you're at around 600 attack. Then with uh, the feather from your artifact set, that's around 300. So that's 900, maybe a thousand. And then the ultimate gives you around max 700 attack, I think. So you're at around six, uh, 1,600 to 1,700 attack. Now that sounds like good, but when you realize that a normal character that doesn't scale off of death has around 1,800 attack without any sort of buff, so without any buff from their ultimates or anything, you do see that there's a problem there. That even with all of that death, yes, the shield can tank, but you're actually not dealing enough damage. And it's a really big problem that she has. And White Blind just is the only weapon. If you go for something like the Serpent Spine, you to like balance crit rate and crit damage, um, you're just not gonna have enough death to compensate for the amount that you lose without White Blind. Like, uh, because White Blind gives you around 50% from uh, base death, which is, uh, you know, a stat that Noel has a lot of because... Uh, well, she's one that scales, and she naturally gets a lot of death through death through her levels. Um, but yeah, like she gets a lot of death through base death uh, that she gets from leveling up, and death is she has a death percent as a uh, extra um, 
extra ascension stat and I did actually measure that into my calculations to reach 1500 death. And again, it's just... you. There are no options in, uh, in weapons and it's really sad. I must say it's just really sad, but... Yeah, I mean... Uh, uh, I don't know, I just feel really like... Confused when I see Noelle. Because of her scaling, because her skills don't really match on how I think this character should work. Where the shield is nice for supporting your characters. Her ult is completely selfish. You know, completely nullifies reactions because, because Crystallize is bad. And supporting her isn't... It's a bit hard. Like, supporting Noel just is hard because, uh, you know, Swirl cannot reduce... Uh, uh, you know, with the very distant set, a Nanemo character cannot... Uh, reduce uh, geo resistance. The only person that can reduce geo resistance is Zhongli with his shield. So yeah, I mean, and, and to use Noel as well, um, you need another geo character in your party because she just cannot uh, like make particles. She is really bad at particle re uh, at particle generation, like. To get that ultimate, you 100% need someone to use as a battery. And when you have someone like, well, Ninjan, Zhongli, or uh, Albedo, or perhaps the Geo Traveler, they are, to be honest, they're just so much better characters to use than Noel that when you get them and you try to use them as a battery for Noel, you just feel like, man. Maybe I should just use this other Geo character instead of Noel because they just feel so much better and more fun to play, you know. And then just shove Noel as a uh, as a shield bot, and even then it's it's a meh, you know. You're basically completely ignoring her ultimate and only using her shield. So yeah, uh, it's yeah. And you're gonna get the Geo resonance, which actually the Geo resonance is really good. But again, other Geo characters are just such are much better, much more interesting than Noel. So, what can I say other than I'm quite pissed at Noel because I do have her as seats at C6, and I hate her because she is a four-star PT uh, ruiner. Like she does ruin the four-star PT, and whenever she is on banners, I always have the reaction of oh. That's a completely wasted slot when we could have had Ningyan. You know, a Geo character that hasn't appeared on character banners in like months. Yet Noel managed to appear like ba almost back to back on like the Child and uh, and Zhongli banner, I think. Or like the Venti and Zhongli banner. Like it was. Uh, it was such. It's so dumb. And Mihoyo really seems to love Noel, but I don't. <laughs> and many uh, and the community as well just doesn't really like Noel when it comes to her her kit. As a character, people are usually indifferent, but for using her in game, it's uh, it's meh. It's it's really a meh situation. But yeah, that's it for me. Again, as a conclusion. I am quite confused at what Noelle really wants to be, and she is basically useless without constellations. So that means, so again, in this series where we don't count constellations towards uh, a character's power level, um, she is quite literally a shield bot. And that's her only role, really. So, yeah. Next up is Jean Ling. So we're finally going to actually look at that really decent characters that people actually use <laughs> you and use a lot so i'll see you then